we talk about this a lot and we try to get people interested in golf because we say a lot of business deals and a lot of business flow happens there. I wonder for you guys, how's that been for you, right? Like you're in the world of golf. How many business deals are being negotiated for y'all? Through your travels yeah. on the course, all yeah. of them, all yeah, all <laughs> every one, yeah, well, yeah, all we, of them, yeah, yeah. most of them. Yeah. I mean, I mean, even some of our partnerships. I just got hit up today. Couldn't even make it because we're traveling, but they're inviting us out to go play golf, just to you know talk. You know, where are you guys' heads? Like, what do you guys uh, have coming up next? How can we be involved? Like, I mean, they're inviting us out to the nicest country clubs, trying to honestly sometimes earn our business. You know, I mean, this is how the game works. I mean, there are no gatekeepers. There are no people that say, I mean, you know, you can't talk to this person. No, you can eventually talk to them. Just stay out there on the golf course. I mean, you'll eventually have that time to where you've been wanting that CEO's time, five minutes, a a coffee or something like that. But you can actually get five hours of their time if you know how to play golf. No, have to be good. Like Angie says, just keep up with the pace of play <laughs> keep up with the pace of play nah, that's so. a, that's right i mean i i was recently planning this event on um, the nexus cup where i met tiger woods at and i'm in the cart when he it was my partner and his last name is Rosigio and he is he's like a partner at uh or runs the US for Mizuho Bank i'm not sure if you ever heard of Mizuho Bank but i hadn't right and so i'm asking an inquisitive question like oh how much is under management you know what i mean he used a number I never even heard anyone use out, he's out their mouth. He said $2 trillion. I was just like, oh, okay. So I'm sitting on a cart with a guy that's like <laughs> top level at a bank, a global bank. It's uh, based in Japan called Mizuho. And they manage $2 trillion. Like they lend to like AT&T, like all these big Fortune 500 companies. Like they do the lending to them. And so it wasn't like they automatically did our lending, right? That's not what I'm trying to say, but that's a relationship there, right? That if we do need to, or if it does make business sense, that you can kind of grow and develop. So it's never a thing where it's like an instant, oh, you go to the golf course, it's going to immediately mean that you get something because then it becomes like very transactional. But it's like the people that you meet, the opportunity, the time you get to spend with them, you know, because I hear you talk about it all the time is relationships. One thing we talk about here is is relationships. So mm-hmm. being able to again nurture those relationships and getting to spend quality time with busy people is is golf. It's, it's, it's a cheat code. So like, how do you f- see the future of golf? Because you know we have Top Golf, which has become very popular. Yes, mm-hmm. and we see like a lot of hybrids of different sports that's taking place. We just ha- had Rich Klein in here, and he was talking about um, lacrosse. We mm-hmm. got like the street ball lacrosse mm-hmm. thing going. So, golf is a sport that is still a time-consuming sport. Yep, and um, we live in a culture that really appreciates things that's fast-paced. Mm-hmm. So, do you see like a, a hybrid? Faster pace type mini miniature golf, Adam Sandler on steroids <laughs> type thing happening potentially in the future. I mean, like I said, Top Golf is actually like that. Yeah, no, nah, it's booming. Driver, it's a billion dollar like business. a driving range like of sorts. But yeah, do you see a world with extreme golf? I don't know if you get extreme. They got this thing coming out top of the year called Tomorrow Golf League, mm-hmm. where it's literally played in an arena. So you're gonna hit into a simulator, and then when you get to a certain yardage, you actually hit a real shot. And so they built this arena from the ground up. You got Tiger Woods. I was going to say, it sounds like Tiger Stan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, so, it, but it's so, I mean, it's so technology savvy. Like virtual. Like I heard, yeah, well, uh, so yes, but then they have it to where the green can change elevations. Oh. And like, so under the under the turf, like you have this machine that makes it into this shape-shifting <laughs> type of place to where it changes into a different hole every time you play it. You know what I'm saying? You just, I mean, it might only be like, I think 150 yards, but you're going to hit your first shot. The pole might be 500 yards. You're going to hit your first shot into a actual simulator. Then when you get 150 yards in, that's when you'll hit your real shot. Yeah. But it changes and makeshifts every time when you get down to the 150 yards. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's happening now. Like, you got that happening now. And then I think I think where it is headed, though, is... You're, the culture is headed for golf, right? Like, and that's clear. And so I think you'll, you're going to see, I think one of the biggest things I think we'll see too is like the dress code really loosening up over the years, right? Because like at one point in time, like 
for the PGA Tour, you could not wear shorts. Like, you had to wear pants. Period. Period. And you still have to wear pants, I believe, in the tournament. You could just wear shorts during the practice round now. So it's starting to, like, really loosen up. You're starting to have, you know, folks playing a little bit more music now, that sort of thing. That's always kind of been, like, a little taboo-ish, like, don't play your music, don't play loud. Yeah. So it's it's evolving. I think you're going to need it, a sp sport. You need that one athlete that just comes in and is just unapologetic and he's just that nice that can really move the needle. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, like, you got to understand, too, man. Like, shout out to Tiger Woods because he brought that level of intensity, like, Remember, everybody was doing this. He was out there like <laughs> fist pumping. Like that was his mantra. And yeah. people didn't really like that. Like that wasn't, you know, a thing that everyone was just like, oh, great. Tiger Woods, you fist pumping and excited and showing emotion. That wasn't something that, you know, we were ever, I know for me specifically, and I think we taught it, like you were trained not to be emotional. Yeah. Like you're trained to be like very like stoic, like focused. I'm mm -hmm. like a, like you know I'm thinking like a ninja type vibe, like a zen s. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Tiger was someone that really came out there and just poured his emotions out, and they were you could see that, and that's what we could you know relate to. You know what I mean? We used yeah. to people getting upset. That's yeah. real. Yeah. Well, talk about showing up everywhere. <laughs> You guys were at Invest Fest this year. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm interested to hear your takeaway, and, and thank you for showing up. Uh, Thanks for the invite. Time we get to you. include y'all, especially because it's culture, right? It's bigger mm -hmm. than business. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bigger than financial literacy. It's about culture, and y'all definitely a part of it. So talk about your experience uh, being part of the, the historic and legendary Invest Fest. No, it was, man. I mean, first off, thank you guys, man. I was... No, it was definitely dope. That was the uh, biggest crowd that I've ever spoken in front of. You know, we were on the uh, Fidelity uh, stage with uh, Corey and Sarah yep. over there. And, um, I mean, we got to tell our point of view on what we're doing and why we're doing it. You know, um, it was it was empowering because it was so many, of course, so many people in the room that looked like us mm -hmm. and just so many diverse people that were just looking for, honestly, sometimes looking for guidance or a different way of thinking about things. You know, and just looking for that push, you know, so for them to look to us and and for us to be up on that stage. And and I mean, I'm honored to give these people, you know, how I got to where I am. You know, I'm honored to 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 tell them how relationships work mm -hmm. and to be, how to be successful in the work within a company, you work within a conglomerate that can push forward and uh, be seen as something that is is successful. Like this, it's very hard to do at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you guys know, but yeah. at the end of the day, I mean, it was. I'm I'm glad we got to do it because it showed just how connected that we were and in, in pushing this game forward. That, but at the end of the day, that it wasn't about us. It's about how far can we take people within this game of golf and what they can actually use it for. So I'm glad we could I'm glad we could show that. Yeah, no, I agree. It was mind blowing, man. I walked yeah. in there and I, I told you, hey, I mean, you know, y'all hear the numbers, right? It's like <laughs> <No>. <laughs> twenty thousand, twenty thousand people. Get your tickets now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And literally, it might be twenty one thousand. Yeah. <laughs> like I walked in that room, I'm like, yo. And it's crazy too, because and kudos to you, man. You guys deserve your flowers because sure. you really have created a moment. Like, we were staying at the Club Wyndham, and they have a rooftop, and it's literally right across from, like, that park. And I could see – it's like a sea of people, like, either walking, going, and I'm just like, wow. Like, y'all really have, like, created a culturally relevant moment. Like, people are like – are you going to Invest Fest? You got to be at Invest Fest. We got to be on stage. Like, it's a thing now, right? Like, you guys are converging all of this. And to see that, to be a part of it, it's it's been unbelievable for us. So, I mean, we, and again, you guys have the, you know, the wherewithal to be like, not just thinking, oh, it's a golf brand. I don't know if they can fit our demo or, you know, because most people may not look at it that way. You know what I mean? Just off the surface, Eastside Golf, oh, they, we're only going to invite them to golf events. You know what I mean? But it's like, nah, you're like, no, they have a voice, they have a perspective. And so we appreciate y'all. But I was sure. blown away and, you know, kind of sent for next year. <laughs> for sure. But I bid in now. You heard? <laughs> hey, go ahead, you guys. So, so what's up for you guys? End of this year, 2024, what's on the vision board? What do you what do you have planned? 
Yeah, no, 24 is going to be a very packed year. We got, I mean, it's already kind of booked up, which is good. You know what I mean? We're excited about that. You know, we have a lot of events that we did last year. One of the biggest things is going to be our community day. So in the city of, um, we have four different cities that we'll be hitting this year. So last year we beta tested in Memphis. And the, the goal beyond around our community day is we want your first interaction on a golf course to have nothing to do with finances. So come out. Meet the founders of Eastside Golf, but also you'll get free tee times all day for folks to go play. We'll have lessons going if they're on the driving range. We'll have free food. And again, you get an opportunity to probably grab some of the gear, but you get an opportunity to meet people, connect, and you realize, oh, a bucket of balls may only be $10. Oh, they have rental sets in there for free that I can rent clubs or rent just one club. And if you don't, we want to leave rental clubs. So we're going to, we have a couple of them, the city of Augusta. Mm -hmm. We're going to Jacksonville. We're going back to Memphis. We're going to Detroit. And then the biggest one, you know, back to the crib at the A. So we got five community days that we're doing, uh, you know, at what Cali say, still, you know, <laughs> still. yeah, that, that, that's still, you Let's know, go that. golfing. Let's go <laughs> golfing. Um, we got the invitational coming again. Um, and we really, I think what I'm most excited about too, was just the close, man. Like the close is going to be, we really, the team really, you know, they did it. They did an amazing job in, in, in stepping that up and we're going to be, you know, fashion shows, New York fashion week. We definitely going to be there strong this year. Mm -hmm. You know, we still going to be out in Paris, but the show not going <laughs> to yeah. be there yet. <laughs> Think but, you know, leave, oh, 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 Red, I don't think y'all going to leave. That, that's just data <laughs> right. research, man. What'd you say? We're, we're beta testing. Yeah. Right. 